today we're taking a look at Benro tripods. There's an abundance of companies out there making great tripods, but today we are taking a look at the ones we use for our shorts ghost house and chainsaw, starting with the Benro BV10. This is a two-stage tripod with a max weight capacity of 22 pounds. It's called two-stage because we have two stages of height adjustment, both controlled on the legs through this twist lever. If we take it all the way down, we have a minimum height of 29 inches, which is just under two and a half feet. And at the top, we have a max height of around 64 inches or just under five and a half feet. Down here, you have the locking mid-level spreader. This adds extra support and it's super easy to adjust the spread of your legs. Then all the way down here, we have the standard foot pads, which of course you can remove to utilize the spike when putting your tripod on dirt or rocky areas or anything else that might not have much traction for the foot pads. Up top, we have the BV head, which of course has your pan and tilt drag and locks, but you also have this five-step counterbalance control here, which you can adjust to help find the best balance for the size camera that you're putting on this system. The head is a 100 millimeter bowl, which can also be used as a flat head by removing the screw from the bottom that comes in handy when using the head for sliders or something like the shuttle dolly. The top of the head is nice and wide so you have a good mounting point for larger cameras like the RED or the Alexa Mini. You have your slide release plate here with a safety lock so if you forget to tighten your plate down there is that added security to stop your camera from plummeting to its doom. And all of this comes in a nice carrying case with backpack like straps to make it easier to travel with. All in all this is just a solid decently priced tripod with all the features you'd expect but what makes me really love it is how sturdy it feels. I trust that I can throw my camera on and walk away and unlike some other legs when I put a lot of weight on this guy it isn't buckling as quickly as some other brands that I own. The movement and operation is just as smooth as you would expect. I dig the location of the drag controls and how they operate. I'll often loosen those up to around a two so I can give my shot a little bit of life while still keeping it smooth and controlled. So instead of being all locked down like this it would have a little bit of play like this. And I love the twist lock for the legs. The snap down type for other legs has always been an annoyance for me so I appreciate the more high-end style of this locking system makes much more sense. Of course, I keep calling this a tripod here because it is, but just a heads up, if you're on set, you would only hear any kind of tripod referred to as sticks. But now we break and then get low. Working in the film industry can be an exciting and rewarding experience, but if you don't know how to get involved or aren't quite sure what role you want to take on, Full Sail University can help you out. Full Sail offers degrees on campus and online that really show you what it's like to work on a film from start to finish. You even get to work hands-on with the same equipment the professionals use. The Campus Undergraduate Film Program introduces you to the different roles involved in filmmaking so you can figure out if you're more of an editor, director, or even a camera operator. Also, check out the online digital cinematography degree where you can learn film basics with a modern digital spin, or maybe you already have have film experience and you're ready to take your skills to the next level. Build a graduate level portfolio and perfect your technique with a film graduate degree. Full Sail grads have gone on to work on films including Avengers, Age of Ultron, Minions, Jurassic World, Frozen, and a bunch more. If you want to find out more about these film programs and how to get started, visit fullsail.edu forward slash film riot. Logo. Moving on from the big guy to the little baby brother, this adorable little fella is the Benro HH100 AV. It's a high hat that can also get low enough to act as a low hat. Basically, it's a very tiny tripod. This one has a 100 millimeter ball diameter, but they also have one for 75 millimeter ball heads. Here we have twist locks that make small adjustments. This is most useful to level out your high hat on unlevel ground. The feet here have a lot of grip to them and can be changed out to classic or spiked feet. But what I love most about this little bad boy is where you can put it on a counter, or a desk to get unique shots where a tripod would have been difficult on the hood of a car with the car stationary, of course, or go a little DIY with it and put it on the car in motion to pull off a dolly-like shot. So the best thing about this really is what's most obvious about a system like this, which is the ability to get crazy low angles. I also use this for my short ghost house to get the ending low angle house fire shot. I needed the camera really low to the ground and a sandbag or something similar wouldn't cut it. I needed something that would be sturdy and keep the camera locked in position since we had to do several passes of the shot for VFX reasons. But there you have it, the Benro BV10 and HH100 AV, two systems that I've really been loving lately. And that's it for today, which means it's time for my suggestion of the week. This one is another site that you should all know about and that is Cinema 5D. They have a ton of news and reviews on their channel, so it's a great resource to stay informed about new gear and other their tech and filmmaking goodies. So definitely check that out right here. And until next time, go out and write, shoot, edit, repeat.